I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one Hey everyone, this is Kelly from Empire Tarot. Yes, I am back doing your collective love readings. I will be here daily to do these love readings for you, any and all signs. All of you are welcome. Please do smash the like, subscribe button. If you are a new subscriber, if you are returning, welcome. So happy to see you all back here again. I will be uploading between 9 and 9.45 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to get a personal reading, there will be a link in the description box below. Okay. Let's get into this. Hey you guys, welcome back to your reading. We're going to take a look at you and your person for the month of November. But first we're going to take a look at the overall message. See what the overall message for the month of November is for you. Okay, page of wands representing good communication, positive news coming in. Someone has a crush. Your person has a, a good crush is smitten with you. Feelings. You will be receiving some communication from this person, some exciting news, um, maybe planning some trips, some text messages, phone calls, that kind of energy, lots of communication coming in. So let's take a look and see what their energy is with you. It could be a fire sign you could be dealing with, or you might be a fire sign. Okay, let's take a look at your person. Okay, so they're starting with the ace or the eight of swords. There you go. So this person looks like they have fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, Queen of Swords. Could also be represented by an air sign. Okay, let's see. Hmm, okay. So it looks like whomever your person is, It looks like they have some kind of connection with another person, but they are not, they're feeling very trapped in the relationship with another person. They could be, it's not really telling me what type of relationship it is that they have with this other person. So it could be romantic, it could be, could be platonic. Um, they might be involved with a Gemini, but it feels like, or they could be involved with a fire sign, but it does feel like there is some communication happening. However, I feel like it's something that's new, but it's not serious. And I get a sense that if you have an interest in this person or you're involved with this person, they're going through some kind of struggle. Um, your person and whoever they're involved with, here's the three of swords now, I feel like there's intention being placed for some type of growth with their relationship but they are like back to back they're not even looking at looking at each other they're not facing each other it feels like it feels like it's not happening it feels like something between your person or whomever you're interested in and whoever they are connected to they're looking opposite of each other and i with the three of swords it feels like there's some type of argument or some type of separation or breakup happening with them like there's nothing going on with them or they're in some kind of separation and let me take a look at you um let me see what is your what is going on with you in regards to your person okay so you've got the five of pentacles hmm oh okay okay so you might be a water sign you could be or have water in your chart somewhere so okay so you're kind of on the outskirts here with this person um it looks to me like you're patiently waiting you're kind of out in the cold um I don't know if you're waiting for them to separate or you're intuitively know that something's going on with them and um yeah you kind of like already know you're waiting to hear from them if if something like if they're splitting up or if they are going to be single i feel like they're going to be reaching out to you to make plans with you um even yeah, there's a new opportunity coming from this person. I feel like whoever you have your eye on or whoever you are interested in 
is no longer with or is separating from an, the person that they are with. Okay. Yeah, I feel like there's some kind of split up happening. Whoever they're, whoever they're with is either feeling really trapped or they're trying to make magic happen elsewhere. That kind of energy. There was some kind of seed planted or something that started, but it looks like it really didn't go that deep or really didn't get a chance to grow. Okay, so I do see um, reconciliation happening with you and your person or some type of reunion coming together and this is something that maybe you've been waiting for or that you have just been you might not even hmm. if you had a relationship with them before I see it kind of coming back around again if you didn't have a relationship with this person before I see you guys connecting so you might know of them and know that they're involved maybe you didn't want to get involved with them because they had a significant other it looks like that isn't going anywhere there was something that just wasn't really working out in november there's some kind of like divorce or separation or they're not dating or you might find out about this in november and they reach out to you ask you to get together see if you're available that kind of thing and that's kind of how i feel like you find out that there's this hey let's talk there's some travel involved here coming to see you things kind of turning in your favor the wheel shifts like things kind of turn around you find out that they're not with that person or they're not talking to them um, they're interested in you um, yeah I feel like that energy is playing out let me see what else is going on here yeah so you've got the lightning so it does feel like kind of a shocker even though I do feel like you kind of expect it I keep saying kind of but I feel like you 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 intuitively have a hunch of some sort that something wasn't going to go forward or you knew that you guys would connect in some way or that you would be coming together to some degree or something like yeah emotional wish being granted so i feel like this might be something that you were kind of eh, just put on the back burner and just being like okay well you know if it's meant for me then you know it'll come my way and if it's not i'm not going to chase it that kind of energy so yeah i do feel like it's coming your way for sure look you've got the wheel of fortune is here again luck is on your side the wheel is turning in your favor good things are coming now so be ready um karma is on your side for all the good you've put out and it's coming back around so i kind of like that because it feels like you didn't go in and try to like break up a happy home or anything like that like you basically were like not getting involved in any kind of mess or drama in anybody's life whatever is meant to be is going to be not getting any uh, getting involved in any kind of third party thing and that is kind of paying off for you right kind of is the word today it's paying off for you um when you do good things it comes back around to you that's what i feel that message is this is a destined partnership <clears throat> it's like you two were i don't know if you guys met and it wasn't the right time it's like two people who are right for each other but not the right time and you guys got in other relationships or this person was in another relationship and you met and it wasn't meant to go anywhere at that time so something needed to end or something needed to kind of like finish out i can't believe i keep saying that word i don't even know what's going on there but something needed to kind of <laughs> sorry <laughs> something needed to finish out before you two could come together so right even if there was rejection okay so the rejection might have been oh i'm in another relationship um, or finding out that they were involved with someone else that was like divine protection which pretty much meant that wasn't the right time that was like to protect you from getting involved in something that wasn't going to be beneficial to you that could wind up hurting you later um you guys have good chemistry but I feel like it's mutual. And I do feel like this person whom you're listening for this reading for feels, if you've met before, they, they feel that chemistry with you. Could that be the reason why there's nothing going further with the person that they're connecting with? It could be like an under or an indirect influence. They might not even know it. Is this a twin flame connection? It very well could be. 
It's definitely a divine counterpart connection. And it feels mostly like two people who are right for each other, but meeting at the wrong time. That's the overall message that I get with this. So patience was definitely needed on your part. And I just feel like on your end, it was more for you to step back and you knew and you know November is going to be when you hear from this person. And it's, it's going to be not something you really expect. Um, in the sense where, you know, when you intuitively know something versus when it actually comes to fruition, it's, it comes to reality. It's like when there's bad weather and you intuitively know that there's going to be a hurricane or a tornado, but when, it, when the alert actually comes, and then it's like boom wow you know so yeah i do feel okay yeah interference external party intruding so yeah i do feel like whoever your connection is with this person whoever you're thinking of as you listen they do have another person on the side but are there not not side it's not like a cheating mistress kind of thing there is another third person involved. Like I said, is it romantic? It could be. Is it just another person that's taking up their time in some other form or fashion? Yes. Could it be a mother or a father who's like just driving them nuts? Yes. Could it be a friend? Yes. But is it too much of an involvement that's taking away whatever the purpose of another person's interference in their life? It's taking away from your presence your presence being able to be in their life and it's not it, the timing is done that's what i feel because the wheel of fortune is about the timing and the timing is shifting here so it, it's it's definitely an energy of change and and coming towards you now in a more favorable aspect okay uh let me see is there anything else let me see what else do you need to know before i shift out of this reading and also to let you know, I do have a discounted reading for the month of November and December, 30 minute phone calls. So if you guys wanna book a reading with me, very heavily discounted for all of you that um, are struggling to pay your bills and make ends meet. I've dropped my prices because I know we're going to the holidays. You can get one for yourself or you can gift one to uh, a friend or a family member. Link is in the description box below. Okay, one more message for the collective, one more message, okay, so you have talking, I know you can't see it, I'm going to be, I just purchased the white colored version of these cards, so you'll be able to see them going forward, talking, interested, conversing more, an awaited message arrives, a text, call, and an email beautiful that's exactly how it started and that's exactly how it's ending so there is going to be some conversations starting up with this person right person right timing all right i hope you guys enjoy that i will see you all back here tomorrow and i hope that you had a happy happy halloween take care bye you said i was the only one no one likes being like two you made this mess and left me with the peace.